Hello guys, today I will have a quick tip for you on how to quickly create administrator user, so super admin user in your project. And it's quite an often case, you have some kind of registration form, like here in JetStream for example, and people can register as regular users or maybe you have roles like students and teachers in my case. But there's no registration form for administrator, so someone should create that, right? And of course, you can do that manually in the database in SQL Pro or MySQL client of yours. But I will show you two better ways to do that. So imagine a scenario, we have a users table. It's from JetStream, so it has more fields than usual users table. If you haven't seen that video where I created that project, I will link that in the description below. So how to add more fields in JetStream form. But for now, what you need to know is that it's users table with a field role ID, which is foreign key to roles. And one of the role is administrator. So how to create a user with role ID one. First, manually, you can do that with a tool called Artisan Tinker. Artisan Tinker. It allows you to run any Laravel or PHP command just in your console. So you do user, create, and then put in the array of fields. There's not that many fields that are required. It's name, so name will be admin, then email, for example, admin, admin com, then password, password should be encrypted. And the quickest way for encryption is bcrypt function. So admin pass, for example, then also just in case you need to have email verified at equals now. So if you're using email verification function, admin would be automatically verified. And then finally, role ID equals one. And that role ID should be a fillable field in your model. So in user model in this project, I have fillable and role ID is one of the fields. And let's run that. And it creates one user. Let's try to log in with that user. It's admin admin com and admin pass. We're successfully logged in. But that is pretty manual still. So you have to open the tinker. You have to create the administrator role, which would work only on your computer and only on that database. What if you need to reinstall the project later from repository? What if you're working in a team? What will you do on staging server, on live server, so every time you will launch Artisan Tinker, it's not that convenient. So for that, it's better to have seeds. So seeds is a type of classes, database seeder, which runs all the initial data of the project that you need. So in my case, I already have a seeder, row seeder, to have these three rows and to run that, Whenever someone runs the project initially, let's stop the tinker, they run PHP Artisan, migrate fresh dash dash seed, which executes the migrations, but also the seeds. So whatever you put inside of that database seeder will run as seeds. Or if you want to run, for example, just the role seeder, let's run migrate fresh without seeds. And then you can launch manually PHP Artisan DB seed class equals row or rows, row seeder. So now let's add an admin seeder to that. So PHP Artisan make seeder, admin user seeder. There's no rule how you call that class, but I like to suffix the classes by their purpose. So seeder, it generates almost empty class with one function run. And in here you do whatever you want. So the same thing, user create, and same for array. We can probably copy it from here copy paste and we don't need those brackets anymore and now you add that seeder into your database seeder so there will be role seeder and then admin user seeder class and now if we run just the migration without seeds there will be a user stable but it will be empty but if we run migrate fresh with seed like this as you can see, role seeder is executed and admin user seeder is executed. And if we refresh that, we have administrator user. And I suggest you use seeds whenever you work on different environments. So someone could quickly take over the initial data on new project or new teammate or new server or even yourself in the future. If you want more content on Laravel and related topic, I have a newsletter. Every Thursday, I send around 20 or something newest link, freshest information from the community and my own videos so subscribe to my newsletter and join 5000 subscribers the link will be in the description of this video and see you guys in other videos